You knew it was coming. Stick around for a word from my favorite sponsor, Sheath Underwear, for a great offer uh, from them. And it's coming at the end. So stick around. I know you guys love me yammering on about what underwear I love and wear. So, you know, that's where we are. The other place that we are is Kevin McCarthy making the rounds right now and making some extraordinary statements about his former colleague, someone who spearheaded the movement to, to get rid of him as Speaker of the House. He says in this clip here, he doesn't name names, but we all know who he's talking about. Uh, Matt Gates and some of the untoward illegal alleged behavior that he uh, took part in. I mean, his partner in crime, uh, can't think of his name off the top of my head, but uh, he had a partner in crime who was like the comptroller in Florida or some lo locality or municipality who is now in prison, has, has pleaded guilty for his crimes against youth. We'll you, be, be vague here since uh, YouTube is uh, restrictive about these types of things. But Kevin McCarthy goes on this whole, whole talk about why he's not speaker now and that he didn't make any concessions and the reason he's he's out is because of Matt Gates. Now look, Matt Gates is a lot of things. You're not going to hear me defend Matt Gates here. But Kevin McCarthy fostered the environment that got him removed from office. He empowered these radicals and now he wants to blame them instead of maybe looking inward about his uh, removal as speaker. And then at the end of the clip, he pivots, and I'm not going to, it would continue to be like a five-minute clip, but he goes on to also blame Nancy Pelosi for not saving him when the radicals that he empowered removed him. It's a lot. Watch this, and keep in mind, this is a former speaker of the House of Representatives of these United States accusing a current sitting member, you know, Matt Gates, the guy with the, the forehead like a sheer cliff on a mountain range, uh, accusing him of crimes against children. Watch this. So was it this, you made a lot of concessions in all the that, negotiations. Oh, I did. Okay. 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 Is that Let's get to the bottom of that. Right? That, no, no, that no, no, is no, no, such no. a misnomer right. in life. Let me give you the truth about that now. <laughs> and I'll give you the truth why I'm not speaker. It's because one person a member of Congress wanted me to stop an ethics complaint because he slept with a 17-year-old. An ethics complaint that started before I ever became speaker, and that's illegal, and I'm not going to get in the middle. Did he do it or not? I don't know. But an ethics is looking at it. There's other people in jail because of it. And he wanted me to influence it. And you know what? So then they come out and they say, because I kept government open. I'd do it all over again. We're not going to pay our troops? No, I'm going to pay my troops. You can't do the job? Okay, when it comes to the concession, the motion to vacate about one person being able to make that motion, how long has that been in the rules? Forever. The only time it was changed is when Pelosi became speaker the second time. And she put the power with the minority leader. I think it's wrong. I think you elect, let, let them govern. Now it takes 218 to have the rule package. There's nothing I can do there. But I had five people who never voted for me anyways in the process. I had eight at the end that did the other. But everybody had to live by it. I lived by it. I think today, if you went back to the people that vote, did they think that was a smart vote? I don't think so. I had the choice of having that vote of motion to vacate where you just put the cards in and walk away. No, I made everybody stand up. Because I think historically, it'll be viewed as a very bad thing that happened to our Congress. Do you think it happens again? I mean, there's now no. talk that it could happen to this speaker. No, two things. The Dems will never let it happen. The interesting part is, you want another, another, want another inside story? Okay. Not this crowd. So, so I knew I needed to win the majority by 20 votes or I'd have a problem. So I knew on election night I had a problem. But I had tried for speaker before, and I, I made a bad interview, and I had to pull out. But as leader, I had never lost a race. I helped us win a majority. I expanded that. I thought I was best prepared for the job. So then people tried to come and push it, and I kept going. And I remember I was, Pelosi was speaker at the time. The election was over. I was here, and we were at a meeting. Now, I hope you noticed what just took place there. He said, 
I'll give you the truth why I'm not speaker. It's because one person, a member of Congress, wanted me to stop an ethics complaint because he slept with a 17-year-old. And then yada, 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 yada. Did he do it or not? I don't know. Well, you just said he did. You just said, Kevin McCarthy, that he did. And I think maybe mid-sentence, mid-thought, you realized, ah, this is defamation if I can't prove it. And you backed away. Did he do it? I, I don't know. But it sounds like you think he did because you said, wanted me to stop an ethics complaint because he slept with. Not because he's accused of. <laughs> and then the other thing about trying to blame Nancy Pelosi. Look, th this, for, for being a member of the party, a leader or a former leader in, in, in the, the Republican Party, the, the party that loves to talk about how they are the party of personal responsibility, they sure don't ever want to take responsibility for anything they've ever done. They always want to point the finger at someone else for their failures. Now, Matt Gates absolutely played a role. Matt Gates is absolutely a pernicious, gross individual a liar and a charlatan and a sycophantic bootlicker of Donald Trump, just lo mm, mm, loves Donald Trump and everything Donald Trump has to offer. But uh, it wasn't solely Matt Gates that removed Kevin McCarthy. Kev McCarthy probably plays an outsized or even larger role in his own removal for giving these people power to do so and then to 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 level accusations and not even be be forceful about it is weak because that's all they got is weakness they've got bombastic flamboyant flourish with no follow-through what do you think about this did you see this do you live in Bakersfield? Do you live in the first congressional district of Florida? I think that's Matt Gates' district, the first district. Uh, I'd love to know. We can talk about it in the comments here. You can also call and leave me a voicemail, 714-576-4054. Of course, you can email me daily at dollamore.com. I'd love to hear from you. If you appreciate my work, if I bring you value on a video by video basis, uh, please consider helping me make these videos by funding this work. You can click the join button below for $2 a month. You can go over to my Patreon for two bucks a month, uh, patreon.com slash I doubt it podcast. Uh, I would appreciate it very much. Follow me on the social medias. I'm at Dollamore. I'd love to see you there and stick around. I'd get up and show you my waistband, but you know, the video would for sure get demonetized. <laughs> Stick around for a word from today's sponsor, Sheath Underwear. We are once again faced with a pivotal year. And while we don't have control over everything, we as individuals can affect real change. Am I talking about voting? Sure, of course I am. But I'm also obviously talking about underwear. <laughs> In a world so rich with options, why would we ever settle for second-rate skivvies? My 2024 pick for Department of the Interior <laughs> is sheath underwear. Sheath is the only underwear with a dual pouch system scientifically designed to keep your president separated from his cabinet. <laughs> if you catch my drift. <laughs> Come on, man. Uh, invented by a U.S. Army veteran while serving a tour in Iraq, the idea from Sheath arose from discomfort in harsh environments. As a former Marine stationed in that part of the world, I get the inspiration. I wear sheaths every day. They're the only boxers that can agreeably accommodate my tree trunk thighs while also keeping my jewels carefully compartmentalized. While I'm not the only person choosing them, sheath are recommended by multiple doctors and urologists and have over 20,000 five-star reviews. It's time to democratize your drawers. Head to sheathunderwear.com slash dollamore right now and score 20% off right away. I personally am an airflow mesh guy, but sheath has tons of excellent styles and designs. And once you pick, 
Sheath will land them on your doorstep near instantly thanks to blindingly flat fast shipping and amazing customer service. Additionally, your purchase actually does affect positive change. Sheath supports multiple charities like Socks for Soldiers and Doctors Without Borders, so you're making positive choices for the world too. Upgrade your undergarments. Score 20% off right now when you head to sheathunderwear.com slash dollamore. Real change starts with you and your package. 